Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about why don't I ever get to the point in my videos? Why are my videos so long-winded? Why does it take me so long to get to my point? Uh, first off, I'm going to acknowledge that that is true. Uh, you, you know, many people, if they get criticized on their YouTube channel, they'll push back and, you know, just not agree with it or say that's crazy or say, oh, you're just a troll. Uh, no, it's true. It's true that I don't just jump right into things. There are a couple reasons for that, and I'm going to jump right to them without any delay in this video. The first reason for that is because uh, I think that it's really important uh, not so much what someone believes, but why they believe it. Uh, I know that kind of the way a lot of our world works is people are just dumping opinions out and people kind of pick whichever opinion they want to believe or want to agree with and they just jump on board with that and say, yep, that's, yeah, this person said it, so it must be true, or it was written in this book, so it must be true. Uh, that's garbage. That's not any way of actually figuring anything out or knowing anything in the world. What is important is why an opinion is backed up. Like, what are the reasons that an opinion is true? Uh, that's the data behind the conclusion. If you just go out and you look for scientific papers and, you know, just looking for, like, the conclusion of the paper, you can kind of find a scientific paper that'll prove anything. What's important is what backs that up. What is the data set that backs that up? Uh, and I don't skimp on that. I like to provide that. And I provide that, or it's always my intention, to provide that first. Because I know the way the world works. Uh, if people are just out there looking for an opinion, if I dump the opinion out there, people will be like, yep, so-and-so said it, so it must be true, gone. That's garbage. That's not worth anything. Even if you've been watching my channel for a while and you think, oh, well, you know, Praxis, he seems to know what he's talking about. You know, if he thinks something, I'm going to, you know, believe that that's true. Don't do that. That's a mistake. I make mistakes, too, all the time. I, well, you know, not all the time. But, I mean, I am not a stranger of making mistakes. You know, that's the way that I learn. That's the way I go through life. I try to learn from them and get better all the time. But just because I say something doesn't mean that you should believe it. Whenever I say something, you know, listen to why I'm saying that and see if it still makes sense. So whenever I'm delivering a video, I always want to put that contextual information up front. I recently did one about, uh, you know, the tone of stories on NPR. And uh, instead of just saying at the beginning, NPR changes tone, ergo, the shit's about to hit the fan, that would be a meaningless opinion to just dump out there without the, con uh, the context that surrounds it. And the context surrounding it is that NPR is usually very reliable. NPR is usually, uh, you know, a place that uh, has a great de a degree of logical integrity. Uh, you, you know, and of course, I want to uh, kind of, uh, you know, back that up by the, uh, you know, with the fact that, you know, not all NPR stations are equal. That's kind of hedging, uh, you know, saying, you know, just because this is in my experience doesn't mean that it will be your experience. I think that's important, too, you know, to go out there, you know, if this was a medical video and I said, I did X, Y, and Z, so if you do X, Y, and Z, that must mean that it'll be the same for you. I think it's important to put that contextual information out there to say that, you know, because I did this or because I've had this experience, it doesn't mean that it'll be the same for you. And I think that's, it's, it's really important to, to put that stuff out there. So I always put that stuff out there right at the beginning because I don't want people coming to my videos, listening to whatever garbage comes out of my mouth. Sometimes I'm sure it's garbage. Uh, and then just running with that. I think that it's important if you listen to someone's opinion, not just to take that opinion and say, oh, well, it agrees with what I think, so it must be true. Uh, take, that, uh, take that opinion, but also take with it the contextual reason, the reason why that person came to that opinion. Because if there's some error with their logic, if there's some uh, you know, problem with their thinking, or if some of the data that they're working with, you later, out, uh, later find out, you know, turns out not to have been true, then you want to be able to kind of realize, well, because th this person made this uh, came to this conclusion because of this set of data and then we recently found out that, that set of data was flawed that must also mean that that conclusion is flawed so i think it's important to give both and because i know that if i give the opinion first no one's going to stick around or not no one but many people aren't going to stick around for the contextual information i think it's important to give contextual information first and then the rest there's a second reason 
uh, also why I do it that way, why I don't feel driven to get to the point. And um, this one's not <laughs> as uh, um, intellectually rigorous or as respectable uh, as the earlier uh, you know, reason. And it's simply that I just find it entertaining when like grown adults are complaining on my channel uh, that they watch this video that's provided to them for free out of my free time uh, and they're complaining to me about how it was so boring and everything. You know, it's like grow an attention span and then we'll talk. You know, these are like people, you know, I know I'm not the youngest guy in the world, but you know, there's a lot of people that are way older than me and y'all should have developed some ability to not have a like razor thin attention span. It's like, there's something to be said for patience, especially in this kind of context of, you know, SHTF, Kiyotowaki, you know, the end of the world as we know it and everything, you know, if you're having trouble uh, with the, the, the boredom of listening to a YouTube commentator uh, that, uh, you know, doesn't get right to the meat right away, and you think that you're preparing for some kind of like shit hits the fan event where it's like, you know, without rule of law, everything's just turned upside down. Like, how are you going to deal with that? I, you know, I think uh, I've never been in a conflict situation myself, but I think one of the most compelling, uh, interesting descriptions of a war environment that I've ever heard is that it is vast expanses of boredom punctuated by brief moments of terror. That sounds probably pretty pretty uh, plausible to me that that would be the the situation we'd be in if there was like you know a collapse event without rule of law and it would be vast stretches of boredom punctuated by you know you know tiny little sections of absolute terror. Uh, you know maybe you should be practicing getting used to the idea of things not being delivered you know instantly to you all the time if you want to get prepared for SHTF and all that so yeah that's the second reason I, I just uh, <laughs> I kind of enjoy the comments because uh, I, I always have kind of like a little witty uh, you know uh, reply to it uh, but uh, yeah I just kind of enjoy the idea that like grown adults have this like incredibly narrow uh, attention span and they think that that's that's my problem for some reason, is though they've like, you didn't hire me, you know, I, your paycheck hasn't cleared for me to, like, like the Praxis Entertainment channel here to entertain you. You know, I'm here, I share some of my thoughts with you. If you find them useful, that's great. If you don't, or you, you're too bored to listen to them, I don't care, you know. <laughs> Fine, you can, you know, complain about it, whatever, but, uh, you know, it's free, you know. You didn't pay me for this, so you can't complain about the quality of the goods. <laughs> That's it. Those are the two reasons. The first one is important, though. Opinions are great, uh, even if they're coming from a credible source. That's even better. But it's really important to listen to the context and all of the reasons that that person came to that opinion, because no one's infallible. And, you know, it's important to figure out why people are coming to those conclusions. Because in addition to that, maybe you'll listen to their set of data and you'll come to an even more interesting conclusion based on that same kind of stuff. So that's it, that's the reason. This is probably still a long video. I'm sorry, can you handle it? Was it like, did you, get, did you fall asleep in the middle of it? That's it, thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.